Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Zoe Home Inspired Living. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rena. Today I'm in our bathroom, the unsweet bathroom from the master's bedroom, because I'm going to show you what we will be doing improvements to our master's bathroom. I have shown this bathroom last year in the home tour part two and it looked quite empty so i mentioned there that i was going to put maybe an open shelf and that's what we are going to do today to put in the customized shelf that our worker roel made so this is how our bathroom looks like right now and that corner there is really empty and it's quite a large space so i really wanted to put in an open shelf cabinet uh, for added storage also and i saw one in an online store it's made of steel gold chrome and i really wanted it but it's it cost an arm and a leg so again i commissioned our worker Ruel to customize it although in a very simple design very simple but um he was able to customize according to the measurements that i supplied him and so today we are going to see his work and we're also going to see how this space will be transformed when we put in that storage cabinet. For the longest time also, I had wanted to do away with this trolley of bathroom supplies. So the open shelf should address that problem and this one will be removed for good. So this is the open shelf that our worker Roel customized. It's made of steel and then we spray painted with metallic gold. And then we put in the glass shelves. So now this is a six layer open shelf but on top I did not put um, glass anymore. That's already very high. It's made of steel and metallic gold finish and then on top are glass shelves so all in all there are five layers excluding the top because that's the sixth layer but but there's no more glass shelf there so it's quite high it's wide and also quite deep now we can use this for storage of our bathroom supplies let's start filling this up these are rattan storage baskets that i ordered they are customized according to the dimensions that i supplied to them and they are going to be used for my open shelf the steel cabinet that i put in the master's bathroom but my mistake is i forgot that i was going to use them for linens like uh, i mean bath towels and also as a hamper and they should have been lined and i am sure that the seller could have easily done that to put linings so that the clothes that I'm going to put in there if I'm going to use them as hamper or storage for towels they will not run because the rattan of course is very rough so what I'm going to do I'm going to be the one to put a lining into them and this is the fabric the material that i'm going to use for the lining it is very thick 
they are originally curtains look the rings are still there but they are very thick and I'm going to have them washed and then I'm going to sew them into um, linings for my storage baskets these are the curtains we have already cut the rings um, in one end there were rings because they were curtains they are curtains and we already washed them smelling good and really clean look at the design it's like that and it's very thick so I really really like them for the lining of this storage boxes there are four actually so what I'm going to do is to measure all around and what I got is 70 inches all around all right and then the height I got the height which is 15 inches up to here so that it will be folded over here like that and then also the bottom I I need to measure the bottom so that of course it will be fit it will fit snugly inside the lining so I'm going I'm now going to cut and one panel one panel I will be able to get three yes three pieces for this the sides and then the other pieces I'm going to use for the bottom so now I'm going to cut and sew for four storage baskets So I am trying to make three linings out of one panel of curtain except for the bottom part. goal here is to use just one piece all for all around the basket so this should compose the four sides of the rectangular rattan storage basket so there will only be one seam I'm just going to try if this fits the walls of the storage basket there's no bottom yet when there's already a bottom I hope that this will fit snugly but I think that it's quite thick the one that I made because yeah so that's it it's like that so i have cut the pieces for the bottom portion of the storage baskets and here they are now i'm going to pin them in place now i'm going to pin the bottom piece onto the lining for the walls and it should be 
right sides together and I'm going to start pinning from the seam and at the corner of the rectangular bottom piece. It's very easy to work with this fabric because it's cotton and it's quite thick and stiff. So it just positions itself in place like that. Now at the corner, another side of the rectangular bottom piece. I am just going to continue pinning so this is the corner I have reached the corner I'll just continue pinning until I reach the other corner and so on These linings are quite snug because I just made, made do with the repurposed curtain. The whole length of it, I used it up for all around without just one seam. So it's like this. I also want to put a few live plants on the shelves and in the bathroom also beside the water closet so I got these plants for indoors and also these ceramic planters I like these planters very much. They have built-in catch plate and they are made of ceramic. They are quite thick and heavy and they look so sleek that they appear to be porcelain. I'm going to put the link below of the seller of where I got them from. She has a store on Facebook.
the lower the lowest shelf I'm going to put in these lined hampers as to be used as hampers This hamper here is for the towels. So these are very good storage baskets for the smaller towels like hand towels. They will be very organized there.
So this open shelf storage for the bathroom turned out to be really very spacious and useful. I was even able to put in there my hurricane glasses and crystal vases and so there's extra storage there and on the next shelf are my makeup accessories and also tea light holders and here there are my the bathroom supplies and face towels here storage baskets for towels hand towels and bath towels and at the bottom are the hampers for dirty laundry so this storage open shelf turned out to be really looking it makes the bathroom more glamorous i think because it's open and it doesn't darken the space at all The claw feet of the bathtub used to be silver chrome, but they got eroded through the years. So we removed them and sanded them and spray painted with metallic gold. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that I have inspired you to do some projects around the house even as simple as making lined rattan hampers or maybe a, an open shelf like this one. And to those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much and for leaving your comments, they encourage me. And for those who have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I will see you on next video. Thank you. God bless. Bye.